Matt Travis Radio, Big Homie Monsky, MixedBosses.com. I got a special guest in the house. Shout out to the homie, Omar Benson Miller, right here on Not Your Average Radio. How you doing, brother? What up, what up? I'm doing well, really well. A little bit tired, just got off a plane, but I'm doing well. How about you guys? What's happening with Not Your Average Radio? What's good? Not much. We're just very excited to have you, man. I was, I was, I'll be honest with you, man. And I'm kind of glad that it happened this way because I've been thinking about, all right, holy crap, man. We're going to have uh, Omar Miller on the, on the radio. You know, I, I got a little bit nervous and then I, I work better under pressure. So right now I'm good. So I'm like, hey, let's do it. <laughs> so I appreciate yeah, you coming on, man. I appreciate it. Study wrong, study wrong. It works better like this. It works better like this. Again, um, shout out to Miss B, uh, Barbara Sanchez, for making this happen. Um, you know, Omar Miller just got off the plane. He's like, let me jump on the interview with Not Your Average Radio. So I do appreciate that, man. No doubt. So let's get to it. What's going on? I'm a big fan of Ballers. I got to tell you that right now. I uh, I watch it religiously. I watch a couple shows twice. So you guys are doing your thing, man. A great, great show, for real. Ah, uh, love, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, you know, I'm really pleased with the way that the show has been progressing. And you can tell if you go back and you watch the pilot again, you can see how much better the show is now than it was when it first started. And it's really gone someplace. And I just, I really appreciate the, uh, really appreciate the, the producers and the writers giving me so much to do. It's great. Yeah, and I love your character, man. I love your character. He really, he's really like humble, but yeah, you know, he's still like trying to find his way after the, uh, after his football career and stuff like that. So, um, you know, I think a lot of even, you know, people that do different things, not necessarily just football, but, uh, I was in the Marine Corps, you know what I mean? And after four years of coming out of the Marine Corps, you kind of have to find yourself, you know what I mean? Because you miss those days of, of when all the guys were just hanging out and stuff like that. So, you know, even though I wasn't a professional football player, I kind of relate to that, to that getting used to, to civilian world, I guess you can say. So I, I really like your character, man. Thanks, dude. I think, you know what, this is where I really score, dude, because my guy is most reliable. Uh, I'm relatable, I mean, sorry. He's most relatable in the sense that it doesn't matter if you got out of the Marine Corps, if you were a janitor, if you were a professional makeup artist, or if you were a professional football player. The fact of the matter is that to get to the highest levels of whatever it is you're doing, it takes a lot of discipline, you know, and you, you, you invest a lot of your time into this. And then when this thing goes the wrong way, and uh and then you're done with it, it takes a lot to find yourself. You know, it, it's not easy. And it's easy to just get lost out there. And then a lot of people, when they get lost, they start to do some stuff that isn't the most productive with themselves, you know. And, like, with, with my character, you see he's been going through, like, a, a depression of sorts, and he's trying to find himself. And, thank God, he's got a wife and you know, some friends that he can lean on that are helping him get through it. Right, right. And again, we're talking about what you're working on right now, which is the uh, show uh, Ballers on on uh, HBO. So that's really cool, man. I always like to get to know the people that I that I interview. Um, so if you don't mind, would you like letting us know how you got started acting? You know, I mean, obviously you're doing Ballers now. You were an eight mile, um, you know, you're doing a bunch of, you're in Transformers and stuff like that. But where did you get started in, in the acting business? You know what? I got started in college. And uh, that's really what, what got me started and what kept me going. Started doing uh, plays at San Jose State University and had a wonderful set of teachers who really took me under their wing and just made sure that, that I knew that I could do this as a profession, you know? And they built my confidence and they built my skill and uh, just showed me how to, to be a professional at my craft. And uh, and it's it's been great, man. And it really serviced me ever since. So I tell people all the time, I started in school prior to me going away to, to university. I wasn't really interested in, you know, I never thought about becoming a professional actor. I, I was a baseball player. Oh, okay. So you did baseball. Did you ever do football? Or is this, you just happened to get the role of a football player this time around? No, I never played football. I never wanted to play football. I I played but not organized. It was uh and you know, you know, six, five, three hundred people want you to play football all the time. So it's uh it's it was a pretty it was a pretty common opportunity for me. But the problem was is that just my heart wasn't in it like it was for other sports. So that was a you know, was a different thing. Right, definitely. And that's the most important part, right? If your heart's not in it, then why even do it? Yeah, it's different. Definitely, definitely. So, how long have you? Uh, so, how long ago were you were you in college? Like, how long have you been doing acting for? Uh, since you guys started seeing me in Eight Mile and in the other films, you know, 
I've been doing it now. Uh, I started doing plays about a year or two before that film came out. So, the 15 years, 16 years. Uh, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. So yeah, I see the progression. You know, I've been, I've been. Uh, soon as uh, Barbara told me that, you know, you you uh, were able to do the interview, I got, I did my homework. You know what I mean? So I was like, man, you've been on a bunch of um, uh, yeah, movies. You know what I mean? So I was like, that's really good. So uh, you've been doing a lot in the last fifteen years. So shout out to you for that, man, for real. Thanks, dude. Yeah, no, it's been um, it's it's been a, it's been work. You know, it's been work that I've been blessed, and and I've been able to to to. to find projects that I can make work even if it doesn't seem like I would fit in them, you know what I mean? So a lot of great people have given me different opportunities and I've been able to come through. And it's just, you know, it's such a learning experience, man. You get to, with this job, it's so great. You get to travel all over the world and meet so many people. It's just really awesome. That's what's up. That's good. That's good. So we're talking a little bit about obviously what you're working uh, right now is ballers. You, you have any other projects that are coming out soon, or just focused on ballers, or uh, what else are you working on right now? You know, I am. Uh, we're about to go back and start shooting the second season of the show, and so I'm working on that. But then I'm also working on some projects that I have that I'm uh, writing and trying to produce and sell. So there's a few different things at the pipeline. It's um very interesting the way that the entertainment business works just to, like everything else in life you gotta build on your momentum, you know? It's uh it's good. It's good. I had a travel show for a little while and that's something that I love to do. We're retooling that. We're doing a lot of different stuff, man. A lot of positives going on. Yeah, that's really good. Man. You're absolutely right. You got to build on your momentum. And again, I, um, you know, obviously I'm not at the level that you're at, even in my little level, uh, you know, working with the right people. And obviously you're working with a lot of the right people right now on Ballers. So that definitely opens more uh, doors and opportunities. Yeah, no doubt about it. No two ways about it. All right, man. So hey, if you don't uh, mind, I'd like to ask you more of a personal question. What I do here on Nitro Average Radio, what we do is we play underground, mostly hip hop, you know, for those artists trying to find a platform to play their music. Even myself, we're barely on our uh, on our grind, you know, trying to find our place and trying to find success. I like talking to people and not only hearing the positives, but I would also like to know a struggle or something that you have gone through in these last 15 years that you overcame and like how you overcame that, if you don't mind uh, sharing something like that with us. Well, there's no single thing you have to overcome. It's, it's when you're dealing with life, life is the antagonist. It's hard, you know? You have to, whatever your dream is, there's always going to be obstacles. For me personally, it's the fact of the matter is that there's just not enough material. You know, they don't make a lot of movies like they used to. And I have to deal with the fact that I'm in a highly competitive field. You don't fit every project, you know? As much as you may want to, you just don't fit every project. So you get told no a lot. And you have to go back to the lab and sometimes recognize, oh, okay, I wasn't right for it. Other times, maybe I was right for it and I just didn't get the job. But you still have to maintain your, your, your focus. As they say in the Bay Area, you have to focus on your focus and move forward. Right. I completely understand that because especially when you get told often, you know, you, you got to really believe in yourself to keep going, right? Because that's like, oh, no. So it's kind of uh, a downer. So I, I understand that. I really do. Yeah, man. It's not It's not a game, you know, when the... In the entertainment business, you're going to catch a lot more no's than you catch yeses until that tide turns. That's just the nature of the beast. The entertainment business is one of those businesses where it's a rejection-based game, you know. It's not it's not something that you get a ton of yeses. Really, it takes a long time to get any yeses. And then once you finally get it, that's when you got to, you know, go full court press on of course, just like you were talking about a little bit ago, you got to build on that momentum. I like the motivation that, that you uh, that you're bringing. You know, letting us know your story, and it's really like I love this. I have people that contact me, you know, the listeners, and they always really like our um, our interviews. You know, so I do appreciate you coming on and, and uh, telling us your story. I really appreciate that. No doubt, man. I mean, you know what? I love what you guys are doing. Anybody that's trying to make a lane, and that's what you're doing. You're trying, trying to find your lane, and the way that you're finding it is by creating it, and you're spreading. And that light and that love with other art and that's just very respectable man so I, you know god bless brother i wish you the best thank you thank you so much i do appreciate that i really do yeah i just came across this and it's a path that that opened up for me and i just went with it you know what i mean and i'm not looking back so uh i do appreciate you uh your kind words brother i do appreciate that no doubt all right man stay up i'll wrap with you soon all right thank you thank you again man not your average radio omar benson miller on the interview